Hi everyone, I'm here again and today we're going to work on a Valentine's Day card and this is super easy. It is um, a, a card that I designed specifically for mass production so that you can make these cards for your kids classrooms. Um, you can also have your kids help you if you want. Um, but it goes pretty quickly. The design is fairly simple and I'm including um, a few ideas to make it a little more fancier for those of you that want a little bit of um, fanciness to your card. Um, so pretty much the card looks like this and I have a different version um, and a couple other ideas I'm going to talk about when I talk about this card. Um, we're going to use our um, some craft card stock, um, but if you'd like to um, recycle some of your cereal boxes, this is really what I did. You're going to need a Valentine's Day themed stamp or a stamp that would work for Valentine's Day. You will also need some black ink. Um, what else do I use? Just some of your favorite adhesive and I happen to use a corner rounder um, but you can leave that out if you don't have one your card will look just fine without round without the rounded corner um, I also used some glossy accents and some liquid pearls to kind of um, make it a little fancier and oh I forgot to add um, a um, heart punch. You also want red colored cardstock that um, you're going to use to punch your red hearts um, out of. But you can substitute with whatever color you want your hearts to be. I think the only other thing that is a little difficult to show you, um, I have, if you've got it, it's great, a little to and from stamp that you can stamp on there and your child can write in um, their name and their classmate's name. Now let's get started putting together that card. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have tips on how you can do a bunch of them in one sitting. I happen to be making about 55 cards in one sitting. And um, I'll also have um, a blog post about it that I'll leave um, in the description bar. You can check that out um, for written instructions. Some people like to do the written, or like to look at the written instructions. So that's for you there as well. Okay, so here are the two slightly different versions. This is just the regular card made out of craft card stock. And on the back, um, I plan on stamping the to and from, just like I have here, on the back here. In the end, there's gonna be, we're gonna tape a lollipop diagonally and just secure that with some scotch tape and then Actually, then I will put my stamp here, the to and from stamp here. This is the um, liquid pearls and the glossy accents. The glossy accents, um, just right up at that corner there, just um, gives it a little shine as if light were hitting that area. Really easy ways to spice up your card and give it a little dimension and texture um, and a little extra color. This one is just another option for you guys, um, for those of you that like to reuse um, or recycle cereal boxes. I cut those down and you really don't have to worry about the back because you're just gonna damp and write everything up on the front and then just secure your lollipop to the back and your valentine is ready to go. So that's just the other option for you guys. And now I was gonna talk about um, how you can mass produce these cards in one sitting. I'm gonna do about 55 cards total um, for two different classes um, because I've got two kids. I've got a couple different colors of craft card stock uh, because some of them are scraps and some of them are from full sheets. The approach to making mass produced cards is do everything in groupings um, in tasks. So group them up in tasks. So you're going to start by getting your cardstock or your scrap um, cardstock and cutting them all down to the size that you want them to be. And this one happens to be um, three and a half inches tall and two and a half inches wide. Again, this is the standard ATC size. Um, cut all those down and then you're ready for your next step. And then take your, if you have one, 
a corner rounder. Um, and I like to use the, um, the half inch corner rounder. And go ahead and just punch the corner out of the stack of cardstock. And then the next thing that you could do is take your punch, your heart punch, and I happen to be using some scrap red cardstock, and you're just gonna take your cardstock and just punch as many hearts as you need. Go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna cut, punch a few now. And they don't all have to be the same color. Again, you can go through your scrap box and find pink hearts, purple hearts, red hearts, different shades of red, pink, purple, anything that you wanna use, blue. Um, and this is such a perfect way to use up all those scraps. So you're gonna punch all the hearts, all in one sitting, or in, um, you're gonna punch all the hearts that you need um, at once, and then you're ready to move on and just set your hearts aside. You're going to take your stamp, and I happen to be using this one. This is an old one from Stampin' Up! from a few years ago. Take some black ink, and it's easier if you have a bigger pad, so you can just kind of pat your stamp into the ink and stamp. And figure out where you want to position your stamp, and stamp your image. You're going to stamp out your image on all the um, pieces of cardstock that you have. And after you do all that, you're ready for the next step. Now, here is my, you can't really see it, but here is my to and from stamp. And for the, uh, and if you wanna see what that looks like, um, this is what it looks like right here. And for those of you that are using the backs of your cereal box, you could position your to and from stamp here or your child will just sign their name right up at the top there. And, uh, but for this card, um, the next thing you could do is just turn it over and you're gonna stamp your to and from on the back of all those cards. I'm gonna stamp my to and from on the bottom corner because um, I'm gonna have a lollipop taped right over there. And so do that and stamp it on all of the pieces of cardstock. Take your um, hearts. And so I'm just going to add my adhesive to the back of my heart. And I'm gonna take it and glue that onto the front of the card. And that gives you a nice pop of color. Now we're just going to make our card a little bit fancier and an easy way to do that is just to take um, another fun color. Um, I happen to pick petal pink um, and this is um, a bottle of liquid pearls. You can use stickles, glitter, um, gems and things like that. And I'm just going to add some of that liquid pearls to the middle of my flower and that gives me another pop of color. Next step is to add the cute little blob of glossy accents to the top right hand corner to give it that um, shiny area of your heart. And so once that's dry, you go ahead and attach um, your lollipop to the back of this or whatever treat you choose. I will actually just be purchasing some of the little tiny lollipops, the dum-dums, um, because they're small and you can get a bunch of them in a bag and um, they'll fit nicely on the back of my card. And that's pretty much it. You can have your kids help you by stamping um, or adding the liquid pearls. It just depends on how old they are, what they can handle. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to look at the steps all spelled out for you, it's going to be on a blog post, which I will um, post the link on the description bar of this video. Um, you'll also have some nice still photos that you can take a look at as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.